Good evening, everybody, and welcome back. Sammy here at Timmy G Stitches, and it is time for a new floss tube. It is currently Saturday, August 28th, and I'm here to show you what we stitched on this week. Um, it's not super a lot, but it is a lot. Does that make sense to anybody? No? Okay. So, um, I want to say we talked about this in my last video, but my goal right now is to complete a thousand stitches on each one of my 59 whips by the end of the year. Yes, I know I'm at 57 whips, but finishes count as hitting the thousand. Um, because I mean, you can't put in more than those is left. So, um, that, that's been my goal since like February, but I kept putting it on the back burner. I'm like, I'll get to it when I get to it sometime before the end of the year. We're at that time. Um, I've pared down things enough to where that can be my focus point that, um, you know, the games that I'm playing don't necessarily need specific whips, so I can use whatever one I need to work on. So, or, or there, there's a couple side things to that. One, I'm still doing a zombie run and for a zombie run, I have to work on those four pieces throughout the month. That's easy enough to squeeze in without um, detrimenting the time towards the thousand stitch goals too much. Two is um, Crystal Academy. So this one does require you to pick certain whips. And of course, because I've already worked on all of them once um, for the first section of this, this term, um, they've all hit their thousand stitch goal because it was 750 just to complete that and most of them already had a couple hundred stitches in to begin with or I went over because I do that also. Um, so I am working on those again even though they've already hit their thousand stitches but then of course as soon as they're done they go in the box. Um, you can't see the box. Let's see if we can move you just slightly. This box right here currently has all my whips that have hit their thousand stitch goal for the year. They stay in this room because, you know, it's my craft room, but do I come in here a lot? Not really. It's kind of like a craft storage room. But um, I have, I tend to stitch in the living room in a chair next to my husband or my kids. Um, and in that box is the ones that still need to hit a thousand stitches. So that's that's the game plan that's the idea y'all and that's how we decided what to work on this week so first and foremost um well somebody's making weird noises outside okay first and foremost while I was at work I pulled out my first whip and I said I'm going to stitch on this one until I get to a thousand stitches and it pretty much took me the three nights that I worked because, you know, I'm busy at work. I don't get as much stitching time as before. And it required 600 stitches in order to become, to get to a thousand, right? It's a little bit bigger, but it's okay. I actually, it felt like it went really well. So this is World Postage Stamp from Soda Stitch. Now, I have these first three completely completed and I'm working on this middle row here. We're almost done. I think I've finished all of this. We're just working on this stamp and we're going to move into page two. So here is where I'm at. See, you can see all three of the ones on top. Most, I think this needs a date, but I decided to wait to put that in. Um, and then I might put in the date we went to Paris because that would be, I actually have that stamp on my passport. Um, and I'm working on this and most of this was part of that 600 stitches. So um, I had the top almost completed. I just had to finish up right here. I had border to complete and all of this cap, uh, this uh, palace thing is new. Some of the grass and wa the water wasn't done, the grass kind of was, but man, look at that. 600 stitches what a ways it took us so and unlike most of the soda stitch um patterns they can be a little bit extreme in the back stitch this one is not these are completed there is no back stitch in them picture made so um that's really good too 
This is on, I want to say it's 32 count. Nope, I'd be wrong. 28 count Lugana in Aztec. It's Opal Lugana in Aztec from Under the Sea Fabrics. Um, I do have to tell you, I expected this um, to be more of a bright red orange when I got it. Um, more so than this orange brown. So it's not what I originally expected when I was when I got it, but it works. It works well for this. It doesn't mess with the colors that we're trying to get through too much. So there is world postage in it from Soda Stitch. 600 stitches. Probably a little more because I know me. All right. Then I came home and I should have flipped this because I'm doing this completely backwards. Um, I came home and my I think I had to finish that one up just a little bit. But then my focus was um, House Targaryen because Zombie Run and my Crystal Academy piece for the, for the week. Um, I actually completed two Zombie Runs because I was already, I had already started on one Zombie Run and then 750 is almost two anyway. Um, so I focused on it and got it knocked out. I also fixed the flower y'all. I went back and I moved the flower up here. So it is now in the correct spot, I do believe. Let me, let's take this other set off and see what it looks like now. Does that look right? Yeah, I guess so. Maybe if I wasn't looking at it through the camera. Yeah, yeah, okay. So we're now, still doesn't look right to me. <laughs> It, but it may be the way that I have this on the Q snap. So let's just, because you can see more up here than you can over here. Anyway, they're supposed to be in the right spot now. And then I, of course, worked on the dragon's wing here. So real easy to knock out some stitches when you're just filling in like that. So 750 stitches on House Targaryen. This is... Um, a, this is on Etsy. It's from Lolita Made. Um, at the time it was buy one get one free. I bought House Stark which I have already completed and I got House Targaryen for free which was our two favorites while we were watching the Game of Thrones. Um, it's on 32 count Jobelin in chalkboard from Virilicious I think. Pretty sure. So it's a, it's a nice gray. It wasn't quite as dark as I expected it to be, but that's okay. It worked out. It works out really nicely. So, and I'm doing this one in 666. So that is how it looks. That's where we're at. House Targaryen from Lolita Made. Okay. So I did this thing where I piled like the bag that it goes in. Oh, I forgot to show you. This is what it's going to look like when it's finished. Not with the stripies. That was my printer's bag. Um, I put the bag, I put the project, I put the next bag, I put the next project. So I had all of them here because they were all still in pre stamps. And it makes my life a little easier. So then the next one I worked on, um, so I'm sitting at home, I said, okay, what do I have left? What do I need to work on next? And I had three hates that um, needed their stitches. Uh, a couple of them needed five to 600. One of them needs like 800. Now, does it really need 800? Probably not. But somewhere along the way, I worked on it, forgot to write those stitches down, and now... I'm just going to have to eat it and put 800 stitches into it. I have not started on that one because with other things going on this weekend, that was going to be too much. It was going to take too long. Um, so it will probably be my focus piece on my days off this coming up week, um, which I have the same schedule. So we're going to, we're going to work the same way this next week as we have the, this week and last week. I work Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. We will find a piece or two that I can focus on at work. Uh, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, I'm home. Uh, Friday night, I game with Sarah and her husband and her son this last week. It was amazing. We'll get to that in a minute. 
um, Saturday night, I go live for my members exclusive. Okay, that, again, we'll talk about in a little bit, get back to. Um, and then I record this floss tube for y'all, and then I go on about my night. So, this was the first aid that I grabbed to work on. This is QS Ladybug. I don't remember the artist. And does it have its little taggy paper thing? Of course not. Somehow did not get in here. See, I'm trying to do better about keeping up with that stuff. Okay. So it's a big ladybug with some flowers. It just, it is. So I put in, I want to say 560 stitches. No, that's the other one. 540 stitches. Something like that. I have my book, but it's covered up. And I might mess things up trying to get to it. Oh, I managed. I'm ready. 488 stitches. Where I'm coming up with 500. I don't know. So, it needed like 452 to be finished. I put in 488. So, that's where it is. It's looking so good. Everybody keeps looking at it. They're like, I love it. I love it. Lexi, or my sister said that she wants one with the dragonfly. So, probably not going to happen, but it's a cute idea. And I mean, this, it's going to only come to like right here. It's not very much bigger than what you see. And then I think I have to move down just a little bit. I don't think I can get all the way to the bottom. But it's close in the 8 by 11 Q snap. So, um, this grime guard, if you, uh, when I don't have it upside down, you see it's, uh, Beauty and the Beast in the stained glass. This was made for me by, um, Kat, uh, Joan Shank. She is in a lot of the groups, but she has a Facebook group called Valkyrie Stitches that, um, she, she'll sell grime guards. I love a good 8 by 11 grime guard. They don't, most of them come in squares, 8 by 8, 11 by 11, like your Q-snaps. But I don't do that. I mix, I, I hybrid it. So when I can find them in this size, I really love to. Look at that flower. Okay, so there's that. One. And it is in a ladybug bag. I got this one from um, the Crafty Hermit on on Instagram. I don't know if she's still making bags or not. It's it's sparkly. I've had this one for quite a while. It was one of the first ones I bought. Um, but the glitter doesn't come off. It just it just shiny and sparkly. Um, it could use a bath because this corner is getting a little discolored. But with vinyl fronts, it's kind of hard to. Yeah, I uh, I have a friend that has told me how. I just haven't done it yet. Okay, so next I worked on the other Haid, and that is Ornament Fairy Spell from artwork by Steve, Steve Roberts, Heaven and Earth Designs. It is not a very big one. Again, this almost fits into my 11, 8 by 8 by 11 Q snap. Um, and this was actually a gift from someone. It's gorgeous. Now, the colors aren't 100% true on this because, again, I was having printer issues at the time but you've got the general idea um so and it's of course on the easy count also and I put in this is the one I put in like I have in 460 stitches I don't know I hadn't written this one down yet but um I know it was right around what it needed I think it needed they were both very close they had almost the exact same amount of stitches in them when I started ornament fairy spell needed 442 stitches 442 so I think I did do 460 in this one um, so and this one I'm doing tent stitch and I'm kind of color completing but not really I mean, I worked with one color the entire night um, on this one. And I start, I kind of worked this way a little bit. Then I kind of worked this way a little bit, you know. Um, 
it's dense enough in the color because it was there's actually two colors here it's hard to tell the difference one of the things I don't always like about the the heaven and earth designs uh is that like this is two different colors and you can't really even tell the co color difference and that is 814 and 902 um it seems I mean we'll see how it looks when it's done but it seems like redundant like you could pick one or the other and fill it in right um but I'm not a designer so don't but so I worked on the 902 I already had the 814 in uh I worked on the 902 and like I said I came down over here then I came over here and been filling it in um, because it's densely populated, I do I do try and do quite a bit of it. But if I get m a lot and I only have like one here, one here, one here, I will wait to do those. I'm not going to try and count all that way. Um, I know I've got the blocks, but even then you have to do some counting. I'm not going to trust that I'm doing it right. Not to mention, um, I'm doing tent stitch, but I'm changing the direction each row and I don't know if that's called something else continental stitch no I don't know but so um the first row in the block will start at the top right hand corner go down to the bottom left hand corner no well anyways it goes like this all the way across and then the next row I come back and go like this all the way across so if I count too far out I've got to also make sure I'm turning it the correct direction and there are some that are messed up and it's not perfect but you're not going to notice on a full coverage so you can see I've already got the roundedness going um I can get to the very edge of the stitching on this side but it's hard because my Q snaps literally in the way. I know that if I were to stitch in the ditch like some people do, I could probably reach it no problem. But I don't do that. Um, this side is going to have to move over a little bit once I'm ready for that. So there's that. And I don't know how far down it goes because I haven't gone there yet. I do find that if I'm going to use 8 by 11 Q snaps, that the 11 inch side, I do tend to like putting my projects on like this instead of like this. I alternate, but I have found with my, with my bleh, Lowry, especially since I've got the corner clamp, it holds it like this. And then I have all this space to work and it sits in my lap for pretty well because it holds it way up here, but then... So I'm going to turn and see it just it sits I have more better than this it just does and then when I'm in the truck which I will not be taking hates to the truck but in the truck I can set it here and have it on the steering wheel and be able to use my two-handed stitching easier so this is ornament fairy spell um Steve Robert and heaven and earth designs and I put in 460 stitches. So, moving on. Now, that completes my completed goals, my works in progress that I'm done working on for the week. This next one I'm about to show you, I'm still working on it. Um, it hasn't hit it, it hasn't quite hit its thousand stitch goal yet. Let me see. I'm, I'm literally like 10 stitches away. I'm almost there. Um, but because I'm also using it for this, that, and the next thing in the different groups, which I will go over in just a second, um, it's going to end up with more than that. That's just how I work. And then, um, so I think I'm probably going to end up on this most of the rest of the night. Um, maybe not. I might get to switch into something else. Uh, my next thing is... Uh, little house needleworks um love makes a house a home i might get to work on it some tonight if not it will move into next week also but first and foremost so on wednesday when i'm off i will first work on my crystal academy piece for the week i think it's lady of the flag but i'm not positive um 
then I will work on the other Hade, which is Once Upon a Fairy Tale. And then I will get to whatever's next. So that's how that's, that will work. Um, so last night I was working on a little bit. Tonight I was working on a little bit. And I will continue to work on Celebrate Christmas from Madame Chantilly. I need the, I do have the thing. I just set everything on it. All right. Again, I think the picture's just slightly off because of my printer and because it's a screenshot, not an actual download of the image, but there is this one. Celebrate Christmas. And um, I didn't have any of the cup or this red or any of this. That's all what's new. I had the tray and the bag. So all this is new and look how good it looks. I really like it. I love the color palette on this one. Um, let me see if I can. So you can kind of briefly see what the color palette looks like. I'll put it this way so you can see that red because I love that red. 815, it's my favorite. So I really like the color palette on this one. Um, <clears throat> so I started working on it last night. I've gotten just under 425 stitches because <laughs> that's my goal. Um, but I'm working on, I'm trying to get a saddle on the stitch gone trail. That's 500 stitches. I don't know that I'll do that all on this one. I may have to split it between two. I'm working on water in the stitching dead. Uh, that's 100 stitches a piece, so it can stop whenever. And then I'm also using it for, oh, the spells in Crystal Academy, because we're, we're doing a spell off this weekend, and it stops every 200. So at 400, I could have stopped on, no, I was still like 25 stitches away from being able to stop, but I went ahead and started on a, a third round. So I will put in a, I will, in the end, put 600 stitches into this. Yeah, 600 stitches into this, and then we will move on. Move on to the next thing. So I need about, about 170 stitches, 160 stitches, something like that. Left. All right, so that's what I've been working on. Okay, so let's see, life update, because I have no stitchy mail Monday. Monday, I should get some. So next week, I'll have something to show you. Um, I put in that one, two, three stitch order on the 7th. Yeah, on the 7th. It didn't ship till the 27th. Should be here Monday. Um, luckily, they are now based in Texas. I am based in Texas, so the mail should arrive promptly supposedly um okay I don't have any finishes I don't think I showed you my fully finished last week or the week before but I have been fully finishing things um so I probably mentioned a couple times that I do participate in members only here on floss tube or YouTube um, my goal was to give additional content to those who wanted to pay for it while not taking away content that I would have typically shown here on my channel. And I, I really do believe that I have fulfilled that. Um, but one of the things that I have for my members only, uh, the top tier is live videos. And I promise one live video a month with the option of possibly doing more. With my new schedule, I have been doing well at doing more. Um, so every Saturday night, I've been getting on the live. There's going to be a slight tweak there in that every other Saturday, um, of course not counting for like vacations and reasons I won't be here on a Saturday, but um, the idea 
is that every other week is a live for just my members because that is what they pay for. Every other week, I will be going live for anyone on Twitch. So um, if you're not familiar, Twitch is a platform where gamers will stream content, um, where makers can stream content. We're slowly rising in that community, just like we did here on Floss Tube. And so I know of at least five other people that um, stream on, on Twitch, mostly regularly, some not so regularly, it's fine, whatever. The nice thing about Twitch, the notifications are better than YouTube. So if I go live, you're going to know within a minute. <laughs> Whereas I have found that when I put my posts out to my, my YouTubers, my YouTube members, they are not getting them half the time. When they do, sometimes it's hours after. Um, Twitch pops up like immediately, at least on my phone. Um, I know y'all have Twitch. If, if you watch Twitch, you have it on your phone. If you have YouTube, you have it on your phone. There's no reason those prompts shouldn't have been going out. So um, there's that. It's it's an interesting community. It's an interesting, it has interesting abilities for the Twitch streamer to, um, to, what was the word I'm looking for? Build a community. So there's this thing on Twitch called raiding. And so what you can do is when you're done with your life, you're like, okay, I'm out. It's time for bed. You can find somebody else that's live and send everybody over there. And it will automatically do it. So if if you, if I were to in my stream and raid the next person, anybody watching my stream at the time, it will automatically change them over to that one. Kind of like going to the next YouTube channel when you're watching a, when you're watching your YouTubes, except I have control over which one you go to. Um, and I think it's a way to help gain exposure to other floss tube or YouTuber. Bleh other stitchers and um just build the community a little bit more so I will be doing that um I just did it tonight for the first time I did not publicly announce that I would be doing twitch because I needed um a limited audience so that I could guinea pig because I had no idea what I was doing and um it went really well I think I do, my internet does struggle a little bit. There's some lag, but it's not horrible. Um, so I did that tonight. So next Saturday will be a live for just my members. The Saturday after that, I will be out of town. So I will not be streaming on a Saturday. However, I may... I don't know what my schedule will be like that week, but assuming that it's the same as this week, I will be able to go live on Wednesday. So if that's something that interests you and, or you're just curious, check out Twitch. It's an app you can put on your phone. It's a website you can browse on your computer. T-W-I-T-C-H. T-W-I-T-C-H dot TV. And um, check it out. Uh, look under makers and crafters. That's where you're going to find your people. Um, and, and a lot of these people, they like more than just cross stitch. So you may get to watch a little something other than that. Um, I am at Sammy J Stitches. Just like I am here on YouTube. Just like I am on Instagram. Super easy. Um, I was notified that it may not pop up right away. I mean, as... The fact that I've only streamed once, it may be an algorithm thing, but um, I will try and put a link below or a link somewhere where you can click to go check it out. Um, hit follow, you will get notified. It's it's that simple. Um, so that's something I did tonight. I streamed stitching this. Um, you could see my stitching, you can see my face, you could, I had, I had what this was supposed to look like in the corner of the screen. So you would see my stitching here and this here, my face here. Uh, again, it's a work in progress, uh, but it's something new. 
So if you're interested, I would love for you to check it out. Um, so I did that tonight before I got on here and then I'm going to go join a zoom call here in about 30 minutes. Uh, I last night is game night. I play Guild Wars 2 with a couple of my friends. Um, one is Sarah at our Stitching Kingdom. And last night it was her, her husband Ross, and their son. And it was a great time because, y'all, I'm not a gamer. <laughs> I'm a button masher. Like, if you have to coordinate skill in order to get anything done, I am the worst person to have on your team, okay? I can do a little bit of DPS, which is damage per second. Don't ask me to manage to end up in the blue circle and hit that button all within a 10 second window. I can't do it. However, and I, I feel like Sarah's matches my gaming style so we don't get frustrated at each other dying constantly. But her husband and her son are really good and they're good at bringing us back to life and <laughs> keeping us going. Um, so it was great fun with them last night. Um, I'm just, I'm a mess. I, I constantly like fall off of cliffs and I'm a mess. Uh, so we, we got our dailies done. They have like tasks that they want you to complete each day for some gold. They also helped me to complete my storyline, which was great because I was really, really stuck. Um, and it gave us something to work on and, and we were up way too late doing that. Um, in the midst of the game night, we also, my kids went to the football game. It was the, I want to say second. The first one that was home game was scrimmage. That was a couple weeks ago. This is the first one that was a home game game. We then have three out of town games and then we come back for homecoming. So I think it's like October 2nd is our homecoming. And then one game out of town, then the game against our biggest rivals being on our home field. So I'm going to have to be there for that. So at least the, there are two Fridays in October where I have to go to the game. But I didn't go last night. Um, I dropped off five kids. My two plus three cousins. Uh, my sister's two and then my husband's cousin's little girl. And they had fun. Apparently the Badgers did really well and beat the other team 48 to 14. Um, so that's, that's awesome. They went to what we call fifth quarter, which is where all the, everybody leaves the game and goes somewhere else and hangs out for a little bit and gets free food. And well, the kids, um, gets free food. They have music and games and stuff like that. So that was a lot of fun for them and gave me some quiet time. Um, my sister was over and hung out. We watched some Walking Dead. I stitched. She worked on her. She has a jewelry business um, that she's trying to get off the ground. I will also put a link to her below if you want to check it out. Very reasonable prices. She's very efficient at getting stuff out in the mail. But she also does a lot of customizing. So, I mean, if you're looking for something and she can help you, she absolutely will. Um, she's kind of taking that jewelry aspect of it and, um, converting to, and, and, and working with our community. She's like, my sister is a cross stitcher. If there's something I can do that benefits us both, well, that's what I'm going to do. And of course I do not have an example here right now, but she has, she can make needle minders customized. They look like, I do have this this did I show y'all last week maybe I didn't just didn't but she can customize what's on the inside to be anything you want a picture of somebody um whatever show you like whatever season you like whatever you want she'll work with you um she also does like these big teardrop earrings that have customized anyways um but she she makes needle minders she can make scissor fobs this one is one Vic made me, um, but something similar to this that hangs off here. Um, it can have one of these at the end with a magnet. I mean, just 
there are options. So I will link her below and you can check that out. She was working on that stuff. We watched The Walking Dead together. Then she stayed and hung out while I played the game with Sarah. Um, let's see. That's pretty much it. My husband and I have been watching All American. We're really enjoying it. We're in season three. We had that big meeting at work this week, which actually went really well. Um, I felt like it was very open forum. He um, asked for criticism while also informing of us of how things go and wanting us to ask questions. Um, it went really well and I'm really excited, but it does mean we're staying busier because we now have more direction, which means we should be doing more. Um, I guess that's really it. So I'm really excited. I feel like everything's, I like having this rhythm that I have with my schedule right now. Um, I don't know. It's just, it's good. It's all good. So again, um, not this coming up weekend, but the following weekend, I am going to be out of town for Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So I don't know how that's going to work in the floss tube because I'm sure as soon as I come back, I'll need to go to work. Um, I will try my best not to miss that week, but I don't know just yet what that's going to look like. So just be aware, but I will definitely be here next Saturday. Uh, thank you all for joining me and enjoying. I hope you enjoyed the stitching. I, I hope you found something you enjoy. If you're new here, I hope you find something that makes you stick around. If you're returning, thank you so much for coming back week after week. It's hard to believe we are in the in my fifth year. I've completed four full years and um, we just keep doing this. And it just keeps... The community keeps getting better. <laughs> my videos, maybe not so much. Um, but I enjoy having you all here. Oh, I have one more thing to talk about. Because I was asked a question from Fisa. She said she was really curious what tools I keep with me. Um, and I have two different answers, I guess. Um, one for when I'm at Mr. G spot and one when I'm working slash traveling and um, some overlap in both, right? So my Lowry stand is like the number one thing I have at home. I even have it here. Um, if I'm sitting in here, I can use the table stand or the table clamp. I like the corner clamp because I use Q-snaps and it just, it keeps it from sliding or moving. Um, of course, I've always got needles and needle minders on it. Uh, I got the full stand out in the living room because that's where I sit the couple nights my husband's home and we're watching TV together. Um... I don't worry about taking those with me in the truck. Always have, and so I keep these little pouches, which everything just fell out of this one. Thank you very much. Um, where I always keep beading needles. I have, I don't have beading needles for this one yet, but I'm working on it. I'm working on having this one be my go bag. This one be the one that sits in the couch at home so that I don't, I need them in both places beading needles in both regular needles in both I like the John James 28 petites um at work I need this more so than at home so I keep my magnet to pick up needles and stuff in in the one that goes to my truck always have a pair of scissors in each one um Here's my scissors from the other one. This is actually the scissor fob my sister made. So, um, it's just an antique key. A little, oh, this has a rose on it. And then a little rose-colored bead. Super cute and simple. Um, each one of these has a bobbin of white floss and a bobbin of black. Because I don't kit those individually because you use them in every project. So... Um, each one of mine have a snag nabbit. My travel one is missing at the moment, but usually I keep one in each bag. This is a lifesaver. You want one. It's super easy to use. Really helps. Um, 
Oh, there's the other thing. I've got everything. This mess is messy. This thing. This is my little Oort jar. I got this one from Kate, the Queen of Starts, at a retreat years ago. 2017, I, I want to say. Um, it's just got a little hole on top. And you stick your little orts in there. And that's got a whole bunch of orts in there. Um, it folds down pretty flat when it's not too full. So I usually keep this with me at all times. Um, oh, a frogger. I have a I have this one that I got from Vic at Stitch and Button. Um, again, it's this little medallion with a magnet on the back that sticks to my Lowry. And then it's got a chain on it so you don't lose your frogger. And it's got a bigger needle to where you can catch and frog those stitches. And just a little neat accessory. That is always on my Lowry stand, 24 seven. I also have a small one that doesn't have the chain. It's just, I don't have it with me because like I said, I tumped my bag over but it'll be something similar to this but with one of those needles on the end so that you don't lose it but you know froggers aren't meant to go through the fabric they are meant to just pull the stitches up out of it um i think that's most of the tools i use highlighter pen pencil uh my ipad with all my patterns is my biggest asset um but really that's it i've tried several other tools those those are my go-to's I don't I don't have a whole lot of other ones so all right uh, so back to my outro um thank you all for watching liking subscribing commenting all the ways that you show you love me and I will see y'all next week